excellent connection. Hello. Donna needs a microphone. Good morning, friends. How's everybody? We hope you are all doing well today. Oh, well, we have a Bethany. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who was waiting for us to go live this morning. Oh, 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 oh! The whole, it just, wow. Okay, don't expect me to read your names and say good morning because there's about 4,000 of you here. <laughs> Holy cow. Is everybody just on a holiday or something? Wow, wowzers. Okay, I did see Gail. Wait, I see Nixia. I know Bethany's here. Whew. Steph Nerd's here. Emma's here. Wowzers. You guys are, wow. There, Scott, we went from zero to I don't even know how many people. I love it. Um, So many people. Okay, so we slowed down a little bit. There's a love from Egypt. Hello. Finland is here in the chat. Good morning from Nebraska. I was searching for the stream at nine and I was so scared. Oh, sorry. We're yeah. just a I had little... a meeting that ran a little late. Yeah, Scott had a meeting this morning before the live. So we've been busy already today. I was talking to a group in Aust Austria. He was in So. Um... Oh, a lot of people are on summer break. That's <clears throat> what it is. There you go. So uh, Artex, remember they made the acrylic markers? Yeah, the chat exploded, Beth. It's just no joke, right? So Artex sent us another set. Now I, I of course had to color code color code them mm -hmm. as best as I could, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a silver. There's literally only like one pale. I I I don't. I'm going to have to break into the other markers. Shh, um, don't tell. To, uh, to make to this work. But I'm going to try to do Elton John. <laughs> I'm going to try. I tried starting a drawing. And it's just... Ugh. Ugh. We hear you, honey. We hear you. All right. Let's at least see what we can do. Okay. So when Santa gets here, I will have to mention the color of ink that I have chosen for the pen this, okay. this week because it's adorable. I'm sure it is. Ellen will appreciate this. Ellen's here. How's the the second show going, Ellen? Our friend Fiber and Brimstone has been killing it lately. Um, she has been doing all of these um, shows for her artwork and she's just been killing it. And we are so incredibly proud of you. Not to mention that you totally deserve it and your art's amazing. So there you go. That's my two cents in the world. Right, I'm Hi. starting with the nose. Yes, we love you, Ellen. Sorry, I was... Oh, he is just... Focused on... He's in his own world right now. Let's so see. are those a wide tip marker? These are brush tips. There's brush Looks tips. like there are fine tips over here. Oh, On okay. that side. What was the ba doop ba doop that's the stupid uh, Amazon thing trying to connect to the internet um, and it can't. Why? There it goes. Why can't it connect to the internet? It can now. Oh, oh. You got All right, so I'm just trying. I'm gonna just try to block see. out some of the stuff. See, like I don't have a pink. Um, I could maybe There's a try pink. this. Yeah. Red. What do you mean red? That this looks is, pink. This is red. I guess it, it is more pink. So then I don't have a red. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about that brown? Maybe that's actually the red. This is this is going to be one of those days where maybe everything's going to go wrong. We're just oh, going to see. I, I, I have no doubt. I'm drawing on a record and, you know, but I, I'm going to see if I can make it very artsy. And see if that makes a difference. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let me get. Please tell me that the vinyl was broken before you started drawing on it. Nope. It was Bill Cosby, though. So I didn't really mind. <laughs> oh, Libby says I started journaling because of you. You are both incredible. Oh, oh fantastic. Thank that's you. That's so sweet. We're glad. We hope that it's making a difference for you. Yeah. And that you're enjoying it. 
hope you're doing well. Is everybody else? So tell me what you guys, it's been hotter than hot here. We are in um, Middle Tennessee and it's been hot. We went from like winter to summer. We, we literally had one day of nice weather and it's just insane. It's All right, I'm breaking crazy. out the other colors. Uh-oh, spaghetti -os. The older colors. Let's see what we got here. The older markers. I just, I need to get some shapes in here. We like shapes. Shapes are good. Uh, Scott's favorite watercolors are Windsor and Newton. I love my Windsor and Newtons. Let's see. They're so Newtony. Yeah, they're so Newtony. No relation to Big Newtons. Or Mutiny. Mutiny? Newtony. Mutiny. Um, okay, oh. so these are kind of watery. I'm going to shake them. Shake, 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 shake. Your shake, least shake, favorite shake. thing to do. Yeah, let's see if um, that makes a difference. Ooh, they're still watery. Oh, Ari says, good morning from Indianapolis. The Indianapolis Zoo just got a red panda. Oh, that's wonderful. I love it. Bethany says, this record deserves to be covered over. Give it a better life. Yeah. Well, you'll notice he's not doing a 45 today. Yeah, I was tired of that big hole in the middle of everything. So he went crazy and got the big one. The big. Oh, Blick's here and says, good morning, all. Hey, Blick. Good morning. How you doing? Flick, okay, so let me ask you a question. If you were painting on a record, what medium would you use? Also, Blake, remind me to ask you a question for, uh, I want to do larger gouache pieces. Uh-oh. Bethany and I were talking about it the other day and- Uh-oh. We had thoughts. Uh-oh. Lots of our friends have said good morning. Good and morning. Hi. And um, how are you all? Oh my gosh. It's 63 where Nixia is today. That's not fair. I want 63 degrees. I don't. I want warm. I know you do, but it makes me just too hot. Ugh, I don't like it. You're Blah. always hot to me, honey. Aw, you're so sweet. Thanks, honey. Um, let's see. Emmett's here. Brazen Spirituality says, you all had me wondering if I forgot there was an announcement canceling today. It's been in the <laughs> mid-80s in Houston. No, nah, we were just a little behind because of Scott's meeting this morning. We uh, we are notorious for taking meetings. Um, you can ask. It was with, did I mention already? It was with Austria. So it yeah. was, yeah. So we, we uh, like like uh, when I did the, did the live with... Um, Kim Diaz. Kim, yeah. Yeah, He's we're in, uh, we're in different time zones with people, so we are uh, we will take the meetings and we will uh, we will just be awake. I will tell you though, um, my blankies were nice and warm this morning, and I did not want to get up. <laughs> I didn't. Sorry, not sorry. I mean, God, when the blankies are beckoning, you don't move. Yeah. I was nice and toasty warm. It was great. Fried Lego, it's not, or Friday Lego, it's 90 degrees where they are. Oh, Ryan's here. He says, good morning, art friends. Have a great Monday. Hello. Have a great Monday, too. Feel free to scratch the record. It would make me feel good. <laughs> um, oh, Artsy Sophie says, I haven't been drawing for a while, but once I started to watch your lives again, I got back into drawing and posting on my channel. So thank you for that. Oh, that's great. Um, I don't believe either of us have read the Inheritance game series. No, I, don't I don't think so. I am waiting for the sixth. Is it the sixth book in the series, Bethany? Yep, it's the sixth book in the series. The, um, um, what's the name of the series? Why can I not remember that? It comes out this month. Hold on a second. It is the, um, here it is, The Newlyweds Guide to Fortune and Murder by Diane Freeman. I'm excited for that one. Right, new little um, blue. I'm from Sweden. 
Hello. Boxy dragon. Been to the U.S. only one time. See, in, it's 90 degrees a few days ago and 63 degrees this morning in Indiana. When you paint, do you paint anything with the leftover paint? Um, I, I always have leftover paint because mm -hmm. I paint with gouache, which you can reactivate, or watercolor, which you can reactivate. So mm -hmm. I, I always have, there's no such thing as leftover paint when you're dealing with something like that. Yeah. Because you could reactivate it. You can. You can indeed. Um, what is your favorite paper to sketch on? Um, to sketch on, I like the Strathmore. Uh, uh, come on, everything is stuck to it. I like the Strathmore uh, 400 paper. Oh, you put a sticker on it. Yeah, yeah. So this one's been really fun to, to work on. I like the tanned paper. All right, let's see here. Let me find some flamboyant reds. I don't know what you mean by a flamboyant red, because that looks like pink to me. No, I said, let me find some. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. It is a Bill Cosby record. Uh, Lord uh, Shema Mukuku, um, who's back again, watched Animal Crackers last Thursday and loved the movie. Ian McKellen and Patrick Warburton were definite highlights. Oh, yeah. They were so nice, too. Let's see. What was the hardest artwork to make? Probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. Yeah. See, these are, I think these, these, I really think these are fun markers, but to do something like this, really, mm. I think um, you would want a paintbrush and maybe some really thick gouache or, or acrylic gouache or something like that. But Donna got these sent to us and they asked us to try them out. Mm -hmm. um, Blake says, if we were painting on a vinyl record, we would probably use enamel paints or paint pens. The groovy surface likely promotes adhesion with a wide variety of media, though, including acrylics. <laughs> Get it, groovy surface. <laughs> oh, Blake, you cracked me up. Hmm. Enamel paints. I don't know what an enamel paint is. What's an enamel paint? Um, I think paints like uh, house paints are enamel paints. And I think that's closer to like an acrylic. Is it oil-based? Probably. Are enamel paints oil-based, Blick? I don't, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Scott is thinking he has thoughts. Occasionally he has thoughts. Wow. It's 80 in Florida, but it's going to get way hotter. Gales, it's hovering around. The weather's managed to say below 95. Normally it would be 100 plus. Uh, Bethany says, Scott, if you want me to prep canvases for you, I'm happy to do so. I can toss them in my next batch. I, I, oh yeah. So that, yeah. Thanks, Bethany. So yeah. So let me ask Blick what they think. So I want to do larger. Define larger, please. Like five feet, maybe tall. Uh, versus... Five feet tall? Tall? Okay, now I want to do six feet tall. Where the heck are you going to put that? Now I want to do seven feet tall. Where are you going to put it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to see if I can do some of my in gouache, but just larger pieces. But um, I I don't, you know, I want it to be like hot press watercolor paper, which is what I like. Is there, is there, do they make hot press that big? Do do they make canvases that are smooth? Um, how do I work that large? I've never done that before. So I am not getting, that's not really doing anything. Come on, come on. You can do it. There's a little bit of tongue there. <clears throat> what 
What's the secret to a happy relationship? Y'all are adorable together. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret, honey? The secret is to... Um, Paint at seven feet tall. <laughs> Want to make it nine? <laughs> Why I ought to... <laughs> Don't push me, woman. <laughs> Room. No, I could. The ceilings are not that. Tall. But I would try just to spite you. Um, no, the seek the seek. Crouch over and paint sideways. <laughs> yeah. Just to get it in the office. The seek the secret is is to um, really make a commitment to each other to grow together. Just to remember that you're growing um, together. You're not. You're not going to be the same person for the rest of your life. And uh, I think that's really important is to um, hold each other's hand and... Oh, yeah. You got to hold each other's hand. And um, want to be better yeah. for each other. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's like the secret, but that's the first one that came to my mind. We laugh a lot. We talk a lot. Probably, she laughs more than I do because I'm funny. Probably too much. You're, you're very funny. I am but looks funny. aren't everything, sweetheart. <laughs> she also laughs at her jokes a I lot. I really do. I crack myself up. The boys roll their eyes. Scott will roll his eyes. Arwen used to laugh with me. Arwen would roll her eyes No, too. she wouldn't. She loved me. She adored me. And she would laugh with me. Whatever you think is funny, mommy. Whatever you think is funny. You're is the funny. bee's knees. <laughs> You're my whole world. <laughs> yeah, I miss that dog. Um, Lula's having tea and is, in a, and is at 59 degrees right now. Apparently, I'm the only one who can say Aries' name right. I totally got that that was the Greek god. I mean, I don't understand how people could not, uh, not get that. Um... Gosh, we have friends here from Ireland and Norway. Um, tell everybody which what record that is again, because they want to know. It was... Um... Scott's drawing Elton John for the record. Yeah, there you go. And today we're using a brand new set. Well, he's using a brand new set from Artex, but clearly he's not liking them as much as the old Artex markers. Well, I'm using the... the... The old ones right now for this but honestly it the our tech markers are really cool it's just i think it's the record is really hard to draw on but um I, i'm gonna just play around and see if it becomes something that is artsy and cool or is it just gonna be an ugly mess i haven't read um Where'd it go? The Song of Achilles. I haven't read that. Have you read that? No, that was um, the the previous one from... Circe? Circe, I think. And I, I listened to it oh. and wasn't really into it as much. Circe was great. Yeah. And of course we've read Harry Potter. Of course, of course, of course. I put you on the TV and my cat is watching you so draw so intensely. <laughs> Hi, kitty. If you had to get rid of one of your favorite art supplies, what would it be? Why, Alex? Why? Why are you choosing chaos this morning? Well, I, I would definitely get rid of my um, oil pastels. They're my one of my favorites, but I, I would somehow find the courage to let them go. Oh, God. That was sarcasm. Um, Hannah says, how can I improve my art? Uh, drawing every day. Draw the world around you. Uh, and... Do you like Posca markers? Uh, I tried them. They're okay. I still have some. Um, but um, I, I, I didn't like having to go chicka, 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 chicka every time. Hold on, my friend texted me. I have to. I have a friend. Surprise. Um, okay, hold on. Um, 
Donna, just now I was drawing along with your stream one time and accidentally threw a laughing face when you said something so funny I couldn't concentrate on my drawing. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bless you. Please excuse me. Woo. Man. Ugh. Okay, Blick says, for large-scale gouache support on a budget, consider a hardboard panel, masonite, with a wooden brace cradle. The panel can be coated with golden watercolor ground, which accepts gouache well. Followed up with... Ah! Mid-range large-scale gouache supports included include stretched canvas coated with watercolor ground or an MDO plywood panel with the same ground or covered with thin 100% rag paper from a wide roll. Okay. Is this something that I could order and have delivered or is this something that I have to make myself? That's a good question. I have to blow my nose. Yes, you do. I did. Seriously, I totally sneezed you my totally head totally did. Out there, man. I'm telling you. I can't be responsible for the sneeze. I don't know what's going on with it. I think seriously, like the allergies are finally kicking in, you know? About time. I know. It took them long enough. I've been wondering when they were going to hit. And I was like, oh, please, allergies. Could you hit me at some point today? That would be great. I would love nothing more. Um, oh, Kayla looked looks up to you so much and has decided to use you as their art artist inspiration for their 10th grade art portfolio. Oh, wow. Thank love you. you. Also, what's your favorite color family to work with? Um, I think Windsor Orange and Windsor Violet. Though I do love my teal. I like teal and Ugh. Windsor and, and uh, Naples yellow. I don't like teal. I know. I just don't like it. And yet, and yet, I still love you somehow. I don't know. I know. Why? I know. But. Probably because I bought a marker in Payne's Gray so I could match you. I did do that. I did. Can you still play these records after? Uh, no, not on this side. Uh, once you cover up the, the grooves, it won't, it won't yeah, work. It doesn't play. Have you tried sketching with Faber-Castell Polychromos? Sketching with them is really fun because you can smear the pigment really well, unlike Prismacolors and other wax-based pencils. I did, I did buy the Faber-Castell, were they for, par, Polychromos? I, I did the colored know. pencils I got from yeah. Blick. And, um, and they were... Okay, not my favorite. They were a little too hard. Okay, Blix, number three. Blix says, high-end option would be an aluminum composite honeycomb panel with wide HP WC, oh, I guess watercolor paper from a roll mounted with acrylic gloss gel medium. Wow. wow. Oh, everybody said, bless you. Thank you. You guys are cute. Scott does use watercolor. He is not using watercolors today. Yeah, today is let's try this crazy thing and see what we can get out of it. Um, my sneeze sounded like a panda sneeze or an anime sneeze. <laughs> You're funny. Um, Blick, we have a question about shipping. Do you ship to Puerto Rico? Toast or sandwiches? What about a toasted sandwich? Bethany says, you usually have to do some prep to be able to use gouache on canvas, especially ones that large. Favorite Elton John song? Um, I'd have to look it up. Let me look it up. Gouache would normally need to be presented under glass because it stays soluble. It can be varnished, but that drastically changes the color. Hmm. And Charity wants to know what the difference is between gouache and watercolor. Do we have a video on that? Yes, there's a difference. There's a video on that. Okay. I sort by find oh. ew in playlist. Let's see, Elton. No, no, no. Your song? Okay, I guess your song is my favorite. Considering that's the only one, we have not seen <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy three. I wish my dog was snoring next to me. Um. Does Donna do art? Nope. I journal, but I do not draw in the traditional... In the biblical sense. Yes, I don't. 
Does art medium have any influence on the drawing or does it matter what medium you draw in after you are an expert? Um, I don't think you're ever an expert, but uh, like right now I'm working in a medium I'm very unfamiliar with. Um, and uh, it is 100% affecting how I draw, what I draw, everything. Um, it, it, it really is. Um, okay. What's your most favorite painting that you've done? Probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. Um, the chat is live. There's a drop down menu at the top. It's either live chat or, um, or the truncated chat. Um, who was your favorite person to draw on Music Monday? Um, God, I think the one I've had, I think the one I, I, I had a lot of fun with Dolly Parton's hair, but I think the one that I liked the best was Weird Al. I just, yeah. I just think he came out really funny. Um, Blick says, we don't have a source for any large scale, um, supports ready made. So everything we listed would need to be made in studio. We can advise in more detail about techniques anytime you are ready. Fantastic. Thank you. That might be just a fun thing to, to discuss. Maybe we could do a video where we do like a zoom call or something. I don't know, but I would need to get all of the materials materials first. and, yeah. and um, we'll reach out to you about that. You know, just um, I, I, because I'm making content every day, and um, I don't get to do larger pieces anymore. And and I miss it. I miss uh, being able to just have bigger pieces and not stuff that I could do in 90 minutes. And so we're trying to, I'm just trying to see what I can make. Sorry. Okay. Oh, we could all hear you blowing your nose. I went outside. I appreciate that. We all appreciate it. Oh, man. I really think the allergies are kicking in. Um, game on. He is not most likely not ever going to do oil pastels again. I think we'll go back to black. Um, does art medium... No, we answered that one. Sorry. Um... What will you do when you hit 200 million subscribers? I mean, 2 million subscribers. You're only 300,000 away. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I was averaging about 100 to 200,000 subscribers a month. New subscribers. Yeah, new subscribers. But the last few months have only been about 40,000. So it might be 10 months or less until, you know, until I do it. So I'm not really looking that far in advance. But... I don't know. I could do another giveaway. Do we have enough art for that? I always make. <laughs> Just giving you a hard time, sweetheart. Who is your favorite musical artist? Right now it's Seal. How do you feel about acrylics after Himmy sent you some? Um, a little better. A little less negative towards it. Not a lot, but a little. Um, this is a record, not a CD. And no, he did not sand it down first. No, you can listen. Let's see. That's how you get the scratching sound. Yep. Um, what writing is an art form for Donna? You're very cute. Thank you. What sketching pencils do you use? I've been trying to find them, but I don't know where you get them. Uh, sketching pencils. Oh, the the ones that I am using when mm -hmm. you see me do the the, the two color ones mm -hmm. are um, dark purple and white Prismacolors, and mm -hmm. I get them from Blick. Mm -hmm. Yep. And just in case the person who asked about shipping to Puerto Rico, in case you missed it, Blick posted in the chat that they do offer shipping to Puerto Rico. Do you use Stadler pigment liners? I personally love them. I don't think I do. Um, today Scott is using acrylic markers from Artex. Do Scott's sneezes register on the Richter scale like all dad sneezes? Um, yes, but mine are worse. 
unfortunately. No, your your sneezes aren't bad. It's your nose blowing. Oh, you really? You don't think my sneezes are bad? I think my no. sneezes blow my Everybody brains out. Everybody just heard your, your sneeze. No, it's no big deal. Well, they bother me. I woke up this morning with... Um, my ear was clogged when I woke up this morning. And I'm like, oh no, please don't be the um, allergy time of the year. Um, Drayden's world is drawing James Brown today while enjoying oh, your nice. life. Yeah. Erica Baruga says, hi, I love you both so much. Thank you for motivating me to create my very own YouTube art channel. Can I draw you and tag you on my channels? Thank oh, you I so would much. love that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Me and my sister love the channel. It's our my first time on a live stream. Thanks for being an inspiration. Oh, thank you and welcome. Um, I was drawing when you said that joke. I died of laughter. Are you doing the painting? It's fine if you're worrying about it. I mean that scratch girls with hair on a stick on a swing. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he's giving away his oil pastels, says Bethany. That is correct. That is correct. Oh, this, that's right. Let me talk about that really quick. So I know earlier this year, and thank you for sticking with me on this, that I was talking about giving away a bunch of the art supplies that we had accumulated. Um, and lo and behold, finally Donna has gotten her head to a good place. Um, please and thank you for bearing with me. Um, and we probably have, um, Bethany came over and we probably have 20 packages of art supplies that we're going to be giving away. We've got everything from markers to colored pencils to sketchbooks to pens. We've got um, some grabby sets that we're going to be giving away. I know they're completely sold out. Um, and so um, we've got some of those for you guys. Um, we've got a little bit of everything. Um, some of the supplies are used. Some of the supplies are not used. Um, Bethany and I are putting together the giveaway and you guys can stick around. Um, and as soon as we have it ready to go, we'll be letting you know. The only thing I'm asking is that, um, and I know this is probably a stretch, but if you can afford the supplies and it's not a problem for you, I would ask that you please let somebody, um, who can't afford the supplies, um, put their name in to, to win the supplies. We just want to get as many art supplies in people's hands as we possibly can. Um, and so um, I really uh, would appreciate that greatly. But as soon as we have it up and ready to go, we will let you know. And we're a little behind, but, uh, but thanks for hanging in there with me. Hey, Santa's here this morning. Hey, Santa. Santa says, happy day to everyone. Make it an amazing day. How are you doing today, Santa? <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, oh. So, yeah. So, now I'm trying to decide, do I finish off with some acrylic gouache or something like that? Um... Because I think this is all I can get out of this. I don't know. That's a big, giant record. Um, a big, giant record. Um, Scott has tried sculpting, but he really would like to try it again. Wouldn't you, honey? I would. Shadow and Light says, Don't put too much pressure on yourself to keep posting every day. Your larger pieces are so beautiful. Oh, thank you. I haven't done a large piece in three years. I really haven't. Yeah. Um, he and, hasn't had time. Uh, it's just that's just not how mm -hmm. this this works, you know. And um, yeah, I I we'll figure it out. We'll yeah. figure it out. Um, our lives are usually ninety minutes, um, and we're live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at nine a.m. Central Time. Is there ever such a thing as too many craft tools? Yes. Do you ever purge things you don't use as often? Um, guess what? We have so much stuff. That's why we're doing the giveaway. Oh, and the last thing I forgot to tell you guys is 
this time, uh, June is art supply giveaway. July is going to be journaling giveaway. So if you're looking for journaling supplies, that's going to be next month. We're going to give that away next month. But this month is going to be the art supply giveaway. Um, and we have a lot more art supplies than I thought we did. A lot more. It's crazy. Um, oh, one up girl says, I showed my husband the video of your hobbit hole and he thought it was really neat. Oh, thank you. I need help. My entire desk looks like the Amazon rainforest. I don't know what to do about my storage. You know, there are some really, really great um, storage supplies that um, I would go on like YouTube and I would say art supply storage. And I would just look at that because there are so many people that do complete makeovers of art rooms and things like that. And I've seen them on there. Um, I would check that out. Honestly, they probably would give you some great ideas. Or you could just pull a Scott and just do the old candles that we, we burn candles in here in the mornings. And he takes the jars from the old candles and he sticks paintbrushes and markers and all the things, pencils in the old jars. Um, what would you do if someone bought the seven foot painting? Um, I guess I would be happy. Well, hold on a second, sweet pea. That would be if I don't like it enough to take it and put it up in the house somewhere. What are you doing? You're gonna give stuff away before your wife even gets, you haven't even painted anything yet. Good grief. Okay, Blick says, we think maybe start with a small hardboard panel with watercolor ground to see if that gives acceptable results. If that works for you, it would make fabricating a large panel for gouache very easy. Okay, okay. Um, Start small, see if I like the texture. Correct. You know. Yes. Yes, we are back to the record thing today. All Any right, good so white gel can you guys see this? Buy? Yes, we can see it. Okay, good. So but, you can see the... Yeah, I would just... Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Because we're going to want to see the record, so... Um, the white gel pens that Scott uses are the Uniball Signo pens They've been kind of hit and miss for me lately. well they they haven't really been rolling as well yeah i have a bunch of the signo pens in the metallic colors and they haven't been rolling well either for some reason i don't know why all right guys we're going to switch over to acrylic gouache what would you do if an art gallery wants your art I, I've never actually thought about that. I mean, it, it, it would be really, really weird. I think it'd be really, really cool. Yeah, but... I mean, so Tefner says, the scratching sound is making me nervous like my dad is going to round the corner at any point and scold me. <laughs> um, Rose Forget says, do you sometimes still feel like your art isn't as good as you would want it? I always get that feeling and your art is wonderful. Every day. Every day. Um, the, the good thing is, is like right now, I don't feel so horrible because you know, I'm using a medium I'm not very comfortable with and um, I don't have much experience with. So um, I think sometimes just trying something different takes that pressure off of you. Um, can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can mm -hmm. see. Okay. We can see you fine. Yeah. But um, you know, you we're we're never as good as we want to be. But every once in a while, something <clears throat> something clicks, and we get like you know, like the stars align, and and we go, oh, that doesn't suck so bad. And I think that's why we do it is just for that that chance of making that piece of art that we don't hate. Can I ask you a question though? Yeah. But isn't improvement a part of the process? Does it? Because you pointed out this weekend, Scott held uh, two sketchbooks up for us. Yeah. And they were a year apart. And you were saying, look, I think my art's gotten better yes. from a year ago. I mean, That's what the benefit of looking backwards does. But when you're right. painting, uh -huh. you don't notice it. 
you just go, oh, this this could have been better. This doesn't look nice. And, okay. and every once in a while, you're like, oh, that was not a bad brush stroke, or mm-hmm. that kind of came out pretty good. But it's just, it's never the genius you see in others. Okay. So you know, you're you're like, ah, oh, I wish I could draw like this person, or, or I wish I was this talented, or I wish you know whatever it might be, and. Mm-hmm you don't see your own improvement until you look backwards. Um, Blick says, LOL, Scott is revealing all the Gen X secrets. Scratching sound comes from records, which are not optical discs. So many minds blown this morning. (laughs) Um, Game on. What kind of tips are you looking for on comics? Are you looking on how to do panels, how to tell a story, how to build the characters, how to build the world? I definitely recommend how to draw comics the Marvel way. So tell us exactly what you're looking for with that. Do you have a plan every time or are you just doing whatever hits your mind? <laughs> oh, um, I, I don't have the luxury of planning. Um, especially, again, if you're creating content every day, you can't. You just, you just can't. Um, it's, it's difficult to plan every day. Yeah, I, you know, I, I kind of look at what I'm doing as like, like a variety show, like like uh, the Tonight Show or something like that, and who knows what guests are going to come on or what things. I don't know what I'm going to talk about during the monologue. Kind of, that's really it. It's it's really kind of weird like that. Um, what's a good brand of colored pencils? Um, I've always used Prismacolor, but I wound up trying Karen Dosh. Mm-hmm. and really liked them but they're very expensive mm-hmm. um, i did a review if there's you're... a playlist of colored pencils if you want to see all of the, the tests that i did i did a whole bunch of tests what's your favorite thing to draw that's not hands or your beautiful wife what do you mean that's not hands hands are not my favorite thing to draw they're i'm reading favorite. the question Ugh, hair hair is my favorite um and they wrote they wrote beautiful wife because you said you're reading the question. Of course they did. That was exactly verbatim wink, what they said, huh? Wink, nudge, nudge. Ryan says, I also use the white uniball signal for my architectural drawings. <laughs> <clears throat> my art teacher says it's bad to have to use a reference, but I don't believe her. That is Blossom Fairy. No, 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 no. Um, that is every artist in the world. Uh, Tell your art teacher that Norman Rockwell used art photo reference. So did well. Okay, I'm just saying Norman Rockwell reference, not photo reference. So Da Vinci used reference. Exactly. Reference. They all used reference. They're considered masters. Honey, you said photo reference. Okay. Any reference. So again, every everyone used reference. So uh, uh, that is that is literally. how art is made and has been made mm-hmm. uh, for centuries. Uh, but uh, again, I don't know the context of why they said that. Mm-hmm. Are, are you going to cartooning school? Are you in comic book class or something? Because if you're doing comic books, yeah, you're probably going to have to draw out of memory and, mm-hmm. and whatnot. Not that there aren't artists who use uh, photo reference like, like uh, mm-hmm. Alex Ross. But honestly, it depends on what you're trying to, what your teacher's trying to get across. I don't know the context of, of the conversation. Oh, Artsy Sophie's going to try a pottery class with their mom because there's a class near us. They're oh, excited fantastic. to try. I love it that your mom's going to try with you. Yeah. Because here's, and I can say this because I'm old. So I think people our age give up trying things because we're just afraid to try things. And I think it is such a horrible thing to not want to try to learn something new. I mean, it opens you up. You learn new things. You might find something you really love. I mean, I didn't journal until daily, a consistent journaling practice until three years ago, guys. That would have made me 50 years old. And Grandma Moses was, what, 80 when she started painting? I think in her 70s. But yeah. I mean, come on. You know, I love that you're doing this with your mom. And I'm so excited. And nobody should be afraid to try anything new. Yeah. I love it. 
what Donna said. Go, mom. Um, uh, we did go to the Ren Fair this year. Yes, I made a video about it. Mm -hmm. You should try, also do a live trying pancake art. Oh, gosh. No, no, I could never do that. Yeah. Um, the giveaway will be up on our website as soon as we get it ready to go. It should be live by the end of the week. But we will um, do a, um, a heads up about it in the um, community channel on Scott's site and on my, my channel. We'll this do a community is really different it. from my normal style, isn't it? You think? Very kind of pop art kind of. Yeah, I would say yes very like um yeah um no clearly reason. there is no plan today guys clearly there is no pl no plan today um yes bethany for the record the giveaway isn't open yet i promise we will let you know as soon as it is i need a hot minute to finish setting it up soon i promise yes that is correct. It is not open yet. I did want to It'll let you guys know. It'll be open by noon today, right? Would you stop it? It'll be up and ready by the end of the week. Scott will make a um, comment in his community post on the YouTube channel. We're not going to make a video about it because he's got enough videos to do. So we will make a post in the community channel on both of our channels, letting you know, and we'll get we will give you the link. I feel like none of my art is what I imagine in my head. Do you ever feel this way? Every day. Trust me, I did not imagine this today. I imagined nothing like this. Um, honey, nobody pictured you pulling yeah, out nope. acrylic gouache today. Nobody pictured that. What's your opinion on graphite? Do you like using it? Um. Yeah, yeah, I use it from time to time. It's It's fun. Let me see if I can... Uh... You should do a mural. Scott has done several murals. I didn't like them, but yeah. Stop. Why did you choose this reference, Scott? I wanted something colorful. Um, you know, the, I was trying out... Uh, Artex sent me this set, and I wanted to kind of try it out with something mm -hmm. colorful. Um, Scott has done anime, guys. You can um, check in the Art Hacks playlist. No, it's not an Art Hacks Is playlist. Is it in the reviews? Just just look for um, Posca markers. There you go. I did uh, that kid from um, My Hero Academia. We need more story time with Donna. That is what is missing today. Okay, I will think of a story. Um... The Dark Phantom, you're very sweet. Um, I have tried sketching superheroes slash cyborgs in the past, but never really know how to do backgrounds. What do you normally do? Um, I look up backgrounds to copy. That's the that's how you, you get mm -hmm. that. You, you got to look stuff up. Um, every artist that does these really cool backgrounds is referencing something in real life and then changing it a little bit. <clears throat> Oh, and just for the record, since no one's asked about it yet, the tea of the day, the first cup, which I have finished, was the Herod's uh, breakfast tea. No one's asked me about my tea. I know. I'm feeling neglected today. What about me? My second cup is the Pittsburgh strong tea. Strong and smooth like steel. Talk to me. Uh, do you play your game, Paperboy? No, I was never good at it. Oh come on! Uh, yeah, it was. It's not an easy game to play. You're good at every video game. What do you uh, mean you were never good at Paperboy? Yeah. Seriously, this guy can pick up any controller for any video game system, and he just goes click, 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 and he figures it out. Right? Same thing with our boys. Like, I don't know why I still call them boys, but I'm always going to call them boys. They're going to be like 50. I'm going to be like 100, and I'm still going to call them boys. The anyway. Babies. The babies. No, that's Daniel. We call Daniel the Actually, baby. Actually, you'll, you'll be in your 80s when they're 50. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but he can pick up any stupid controller. Me, I look at the controller, and all of them are looking at me going, Mom, 
push X and I literally have to look at the controller and figure out which stupid button is X. Ugh. Thank you, Mr. Clock. Um, Sarah has done a class on stained glass, and it was super fun. That oh, I sounds bet like that fun. is, yeah. Raspberry is taking a pastry class at a college, and they're excited about it. Oh, I love bet. that. I have taken pastry classes about 20 years ago, pre children. Pastry classes are not only fun, but they're delicious. Um, does Scott work good with oil pastels? No, I tried them a couple times and they did not like me. Have you ever worked with Alex Ross? No, I, I reached out to him. Apparently he follows me here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I've reached out to him um, and haven't heard back. I'm sure he gets a lot of messages. Uh, this is acrylic gouache. Yeah, acrylic gouache mm -hmm. on top of acrylic markers on top of a record. So it is really just, we're just kind of just figuring it out as we go. Cinder Block says, I'm not sure if you'll see this. Ha ha, we're seeing it. But I just wanted to say that as a younger autistic artist, you're a huge inspiration to keep creating. Your videos never fail to make me happy. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. Hey, Scott, can you do sketches in your sketchbook? Because I want to see you do a portrait of Donna sitting on a stool. Also, that purple paint on the palette looks like an emo girl face. Yeah. Oh, it does, doesn't it? This one? Yeah. You're a red nose. Stop it with the red nose. What's the matter with you? Oh, my God. <sighs> Lordy. Uh, I don't know if this was already asked, but do you do, do you listen to music when you're drawing alone? Uh. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm mostly Seal. So I got a you know playlist with like Stereophonic and Keen and Coldplay and. Do you plan to sell the John Wick painting? I think it's sold. Yeah, I think it's sold already. Yeah, um, I usually put all of my paintings up for sale as cheap as I, you know, can mm -hmm. can do them. Wow, Tracy says, you inspired my sister and I to do more art, and now we have inspired our retired dad to get back into making art, too. Thanks so much. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, go, Dad. I love that. Oh, that's great. I don't know why my voice is echoing. Am I echoing, echoing, echoing? Just kidding. Um, can you suggest some good channels to learn to draw like you? Um... I don't really follow educational channels, mm -hmm. um, but um, I, I, I just I think that if you were to just um, draw every day, you're gonna get better. You don't need a teacher um, for the most part. I think you can learn this stuff, but everybody has their own. Uh, needs when mm -hmm. it comes to that but I, I don't know of any maybe if somebody else wants to recommend some good teachers yeah there might be some good teachers out there i do know bethany's got a great playlist um for oil paints um so you can check that off ryan is off to teach hi ryan um can you please try posca brush markers i didn't know they make brush markers mm -hmm. um have you tried spray paint uh, yeah, I mean, I've spray painted stuff like for the car and, and whatnot, but I've never spray painted for like art. Could you maybe try more tutorials? I love watching your videos. Uh, I, I'm really not much of a teacher, but I, I try to more encourage. Um, Scott is using acrylic gouache right now. Um... Let's see. 
Bethany says, yes, John Wick sold this weekend. Do you think AI is destroying artists' original handwork? Oh, hard work. Sorry. Um, I think it has the potential to. Uh, I, I don't think we're really need to worry about it hurting traditional artists like myself, but I think digital artists, yeah. People are inherently lazy, and I think they are going to not hire uh, artists when they could just get something uh, through AI. Kayla says, I always recommend you guys to my friends because you are just so special, and your videos have also been a huge comfort recently. I've been going through a lot of stress this past month, and you always Aww. cheer me up. Oh, well, Aww. thank you. And I, I hope the stress Dissipates subsides yeah. quickly. Yeah. Stress is never fun. Do something good for yourself. Do something relaxing for yourself. Um, Johanna wants to know how do you do hair lining? There are videos in the Art Hacks playlist yeah, on there's hair. A, there's a couple of them. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. What do you do if your art doesn't sell? Um, you keep it. I have mm -hmm. hundreds of pieces that never sold. Mm -hmm. Oh, Abner says, I convinced my mom who has convinced herself she's a terrible artist, but we are going to try to do a still life tomorrow. Oh, that's great. It doesn't matter if she, if it's good, not good, whatever. It was funny. I will tell you a short, a small story. You guys have been wanting a story. Here's a small story. So I pulled out some sparkly markers and started a coloring page last night. And I said to Bethany, I said, this is just silly. Why did I start this coloring page and, you know, whatever. And she told me, she's like, does it make you happy? Then do it. If you don't finish it, who cares? If you don't want to look at it anymore, tear it out of the book. It doesn't matter. So tell your mom. And then she sipped some green tea and went back to meditation. Um, no, because I don't drink green tea. I'm talking about Bethany, honey. Bethany doesn't drink green tea. Okay. Sage advice. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's This is my life, everybody. Donna doesn't get it, so just move on. I totally get it, but that was just snooze. It's okay, keep going. It was snooze. Keep going. No, I'm not going to keep going. It was snooze. I need to point out that you're snoozing me. Mm -hmm. um, could you maybe try more tutorials like you used to do a year ago? You're a huge inspiration. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I think I've told you all I know. <laughs> I don't know if I know anything else, but if I could think of something... Uh, I will try. I, I, again, I'm not a teacher, hmm. but uh, I will do my best. What is your favorite character that you've drawn? <clears throat> <clears throat> I like Gandalf. Um, Snape is fun, too. Oh, Mega Talking Pets had their surgery yesterday and I've, and has had no blood clots since. Good for you. Oh, congratulations. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah. I'm glad you're doing better. Please take care of yourself. Um, do you ever like to just mess around with crayons? Yeah, I've got a couple videos on that. There's actually a Crayola playlist. Yep, there is. Boy, have we done a lot with Crayola. Do you think you could make a podcast? Um, I've thought about it, um, you know, and, and talking with, I thought about talking with some other artists and whatnot. The thing is, just remember, I'm not a great conversationalist. Uh -uh. I don't, I don't like to, you know, I don't have a lot of information mm -hmm. to kind of fill up dead airspace or, or ask questions. Um, I do like talking, like like when I hang out with like Kim Diaz home, uh, when I do lives with him, mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of fun. With friends, you open up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but it, but you know, like to host, but to talk, to just talk. Yeah, you'd have to have me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Um, S H S 
bunny lover says hello mr scott i don't know if you will see this but i wanted to say that as a newly diagnosed autistic trans and gay 13 year old anime artist your page feels like home to me you're an idol to me oh thank you and and congratulations on the diagnosis Mm -hmm. and and i hope it helps you yeah in in just being your authentic self Mm mm-hmm have you ever considered mass producing your art like people such as Andy Warhol? Um, you know, I I kind of feel like I did that with the uh, hair journal, mm-hmm. and and it's and it's been fun. It's been really great, but uh, I don't I don't know if that's I don't know if my work is made for the masses. Um, did you like Italy when you were there? Yes. Yeah, it was it was Loved amazing. It. Um Santa says, I hear that Scott Sava is a good teacher and available for free on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, did Sam does art ever respond to the drawing you did of him? No. I wish you would do art on a wood log, that would be fun. This is very challenging as it is. Mm-hmm. Yup. Um, let's see. I believed AI can be used as a tool, but not alone. Art has emotion put into it that AI doesn't have. Yeah. Hi, Scott. I know you're not really a teacher on art, but could you please make a tutorial on dogs? I love your art style on dogs, and I want to learn from you. Um, so check out... The playlist that is uh, 30 Days of National Animals. And you will see in there, there was a wolf painting that Scott did. Um, and that should help you with dogs. Yeah, I, th- I had thought about doing a series where I painted people's dogs. Mm, yeah, you did think animals, about that for a while. You yeah, know, That was something I was kind of toying around with the idea. But yeah. um, the, the, the problem I have is that I will do... I'll have like, oh, 60 Days of Studying the Masters or the Hair Journal, and those videos just tank. Mm-hmm. And they just don't do well at all. And when you're saying, hey, I'm going to try to make a living doing this, it's hard to do stuff you want to do when the algorithm says no. Yeah. It is difficult. Yeah. It is, it is. It is, it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good gravy. Yeah, there was a quote I was going to find, but I have to find it. <laughs> oh, some sort of bug. Sorry, there was a bug and it was crawling on my hand. You know I don't do bugs. Okay. Now everybody knows you don't do bugs. Well, I'm sorry, not sorry, but if you're going to crawl on me, I'm going to squeal. And I don't know what the heck that was, but it was crawling on me. And I was not happy about it. All right, people. <clears throat> sorry about that. <clears throat> Woo. Um, how's your day so far? Uh, I am doing okay. Thank you. Well, you're only okay now because I squealed, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm not going to apologize. That was the bug, and I don't know what it was. It was black, and it was crawling on me. Ew. Um, let's see. No. The Golden Geek says, I'm dropping into the stream just for a moment, but I want to say that I love what you do with each and every color in your art, and I got to say I was excited when I saw this. Oh, thank you. Um, What books would be helpful to learn to paint? I've tried classes and different books on watercolor, but they have all failed for me. I've never learned from a book, so I I can't speak from experience. Um, Well, let's ask Blick. Yeah. Blick, are there any good books? Some people learn better from yeah, from reading. I, I get it. So, Blick, are there any good books on learning how to paint? How do you get the motivation to finish a project? I have a really bad habit of starting one but not finishing one. Um, the best thing I've found is to just try to do smaller pieces. Okay, 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Bug, there's the bug. I found the bug. I gotta kill the bug. I got the bug. It's in a thing. I got it. I got it. I got it. Do something you could finish in 90 minutes and um, see if that helps. And then you can always move up to larger ones. Dude. <sighs> Sorry, I hate bugs. Welcome to my life. Look. Something's crawling around on me. It better be walking around with a wad of cash in one of the hands that it's holding on there. One of these okay? days, I'm going to pin a wad of cash on a spider and see if you let them walk on you. Okay. So, funny story. I'm scrolling last night through Instagram because I hadn't been on Instagram all day and I'm scrolling through Instagram. And all of a sudden, I come along this reel, and it was one of the Big Bang Theory reels. And I've been kind of into that lately, so I hit that one. And then I'm scrolling a couple of the reels, and up comes this arm with a ginormous spider on it, crawling up this person's arm. And I lost my mind and closed Instagram and went, nope, not going back on there. And I don't care if he would have had a wad of hundreds in his little whatever you call it, arm, tentacle, whatever the hell that was, I've decided no. No, they're not coming in my house. Even if they have a wad of cash, it ain't happening. So then stop saying that because no one believes you. Fuzzy legs and everything. Like who lets something like that crawl in their arm with fuzzy hairs on it? <laughs> yeah, I don't do bugs, people. Mm. I just have never liked the color teal. It's not my color. Um, a nice burgundy or a Christmas red. Have you tried cartography? Um, that's making maps. That is correct. I did make one for uh, the Dreamland Chronicles, the inside cover. Um, and that was fun. Oh, you know what? Maybe the bugs are smelling your candy jars and maybe you need to close the lids on the candy jars. There's not a single one in the candy jar. They're all on the ground. Okay. Still grossed out. Um, do you think you could sculpt? I'd like to learn one day. I really would. Um, Friday Lego says, I have recently started to do more detailed drawings. I used to do just cartoons and comics for my school paper. Your content inspired me to make some of my favorite pieces. Oh, that's great. Mm, let's see. What is your favorite medium? Right now, it's watercolor and uh, an ink. Do you like dark literature? I personally love William Shakespeare's Hamlet. I do not. I am fantasy. I am escapism. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I, I like um, The Hobbit. Are you excited for the Ahsoka show coming out on Disney Plus? Um, I wouldn't say as excited, but I'm interested. I think um, one of our boys is excited about it. He watches yeah. all of the uh, the things. Um, let's see. <laughs> Veronica says, the moment you color a coloring page and it looks like a toddler drew it is always awesome. <laughs> hey, all those toddler pages are the ones that made my refrigerator and are still on the door to my pantry. I love those drawings. Does Scott mind if we draw his artwork for learning purposes and posting not monetary gain? Oh, no, please do. Please do. I, uh, uh, you, you wouldn't be the first, and I think it's absolutely wonderful when people do it. And if it in any way <clears> helps <throat> anybody, I love it. Can you please give me any tips on how to get your own art style? Uh, I did. There's a few videos on it, mm -hmm. but uh, essentially what you're going to do is you are going to find artists that you like and copy their style. Mm -hmm. Take the little bits of what they do and try to incorporate that into your work. That's how you get the style. If you could meet one artist dead or alive, who would you meet? Oh, dead or alive? Mm -hmm. um, I've already met Drew Struzan, so that was really kind of cool. I don't think that Norman Rockwell would be the kind of person I would want to hang out with. Maybe Frank Frazetta. I think he would be kind of cool. Uh, or J.C. Leyendecker. 
Is your sketch wallet the three inch by five inch one? I bought all of them because <laughs> I was like, nope, this one's too big. This one's too small. And uh, I, don't, I, I think I have the medium or small one right now is the one that I'm using. Mm -hmm. You have the smallest one. I know that for sure. Because you said the medium size one was too big for your pocket on your pants. Okay. Emma says, my youngest likes to give me his drawings of bananas, yellow scribbles. <laughs> I love those. I have all the scribbles from when mine were little. And I have some coloring pages from when mine were little too. Yeah, I miss those days. How do you deal with the stress as an artist? It's not easy. Honestly, it's not. You know, you you have, you know, you think it'd be so cool if I can make a living doing what I love. And it is. But then you also got to factor in, it's like, oh, I got to make art again today and again today and again today. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't really have a time to really let your imagination wander and say, oh, I kind of... I'm thinking something like this. Nope, I got to create content today. I got to create content today. I gotta... And so it becomes a little overwhelming. And that's why I want to, you know, see if I can get back and make some of the um, the uh, uh, bigger pieces one day. I, I miss it. Mm -hmm. Just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So... Wow, you guys are chatty today. Could you please give me a tip on what to do when you absolutely don't know what to draw? Yes, uh, there's there's a video on uh, Art Block. There's a video on uh, finding inspiration. Uh, and what I always say is to uh, go to a museum and look at other people's art Blick says, it's hard to name one book as a total teaching system for painting, but the art spirit by Robert Henry will make you want to paint, which is where everything starts. Oh, it's great. It's a great suggestion. Um, if you had to, people love chaos. If you had to throw away all mediums except for three, which three would you choose? Um, I like my watercolor and ink, if those count as two, and then I'm just a pencil. Nope, don't um, like that. Oh, there's a guy that sits there with three tarantulas on TikTok. Nope. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Just me and my tarantulas. Mm -mm. Hamsters, have, hamsters have fuzzy legs. Would you let them crawl on you? I had a hamster. We had a hamster that we adopted when we were first married. She doesn't mind the fuzziness. She minds the eightness of it. Yeah, it's the eight legs. So, yeah, if, yeah, no, mm -mm, no. If your hamster only has four legs, then they're okay. Yeah, four legs is fine. Goats, uh, donkeys, small animals, bunny rabbits. Oh, my God, bunny rabbits are adorable. Love bunny rabbits. I started following Gus, the Flemish giant. That's a very large bunny rabbit. Um, on um, uh, He's on Instagram. Love watching Gus. Um, I just can't do the bugs, guys. I just, I can't. I just, I can't. Yeah, rest in peace, Mr. Bug. Yes, this is true. Um, I can't do it. I, I've tried. I've really tried. Um, I've really tried, which is probably why, no offense to Australia, I'm never going to visit because those huntsman spiders, seriously, I would have a heart attack. I would, I would give myself a heart attack. It, it would not be pretty. Like, I mean, it just really wouldn't be pretty. Well, I think I'm going to call this done. It's very Seriously? Rough. Boy, that is the artsiest thing you've ever done. It was a lot of... It was It was not easy. No. You know? No. Uh-uh. Um, all right. You're the one who asked me to try the Artex... They Thanks. sent them to us. We had to try them. You I'm sorry. To. Um, recently, I've been finding drawing difficult and hard to just do. Do you have any tips to get back into the swing of things? Um, make sure you're not trying to draw out of your head. Are you draw what you see? Santa's got some really good advice. 
When art block happens, just eat a cookie. <laughs> or draw a cookie while you're eating a cookie. That is excellent advice, Santa. Thank you. Who is your favorite singer-songwriter? Right now, it's Seal. Oh, Nixie says, terrified of rabbits. No, thank you. <laughs> Stefner says, rabbits' eyes weird me out. Rabbits are so sweet, though. We had a rabbit also. I follow a guy who has centipedes. No. Cockroaches. Double no. Tarantulas. Forget it. And scorpions. Uh, No. No. So here's a funny story. You guys wanted a story. So I will end today with a story. Um, when we lived in LA, which we did a long time ago, uh, we lived in a house that was on the side of a hill. Uh, this house was a, a new home and had never been lived in before. Are you leaving? Ah, okay. Um, he doesn't need to hear my stories. So this house um, had, let me see, uh, rattlesnakes. Uh, and the baby rattlesnakes, which don't know how to control their venom. So um, Donna had to chop the head off a baby rattlesnake. To which then the hawks came by and uh, ate that. So that was always good. We had black widow spiders. Is there a point to it? We had, I'm just telling a story about the why I don't like the bugs. And then we had little brown scorpions that were in the house. Um, because sure, why, why not on that whole idea? And then there was my favorite day, which was the day when Scott said, um, I want you to go outside and look off to the door at the back deck, but I don't want you to scream. And I was like, what, why, what's happening on the, just, just go. So I was going to give the boys a bath and they were really little. I mean like little, little. So, so she saw the door. a tarantula. Yeah. It was about this big. It was giant freaking enormous. The end. So I told him to go kill the tarantula. There you go. It was gross. It was gross. I don't, they come for me. I don't know why, but they come for me. They it's come for the stories. Cool. No, the people, I meant the bugs come for me. It's like they, come they, for know, the stories. they know, afraid. they know that, that, you know, they'll have longer to live because your stories never end. They just keep going and going and going. You know, just for the record, there are people who agree with me about the bug situation. All How right? would they know? They never got to the point of the fact that- I they... was getting to the point of the story. Rattlesnakes and hawks. Oh my God, yes, because it's all a part of the, the story. I was the babies a bath and- Yes, it's a part of the story. Here's the story. One time we lived in California visual. and there was a tarantula on the deck. Ah, the end. And then you killed it. I don't think I did. You did. I think I just tossed it over the edge. No, you d Are you kidding me? I told you to kill it. Oh my God. That's disgusting. That's gross. Anyway. Okay. So there you are. Um. Okay. So we're going to be done for the day. <laughs> Blick says, okay, we are uncomfortable with the spidery snaky talk. Thank you. That's the whole point, right? If I have to be grossed out because it was crawling on my arm, you can join me in this. Anyway. All right. So I guess we're going to go today. Thank you all. Would you just stop rolling your eyes at me? Nixia says, she is going to stab you with a paintbrush. Tread lightly. Thank you. And I've never been felt so seen. Donna is right. You got to set the scene. See? People get me. Gosh. Santa says, Scott, let Donna tell the story. Followed by a laughing emoji and a couple of hearts. See, Santa loves me. Santa will let me tell the story. Oh, that reminds me. Santa, are you going to go live tomorrow? Let us know if you're going to go live tomorrow. Um... Scott yells out the punchline when people tell jokes. <laughs> Santa, you're funny. Um, okay, so Santa's going to tell everybody if he's going to be live tomorrow. And I'm going to end the stream because apparently Scott's done with me. And now he's just going to noodle with the acrylic gouache. Bye, everybody. We love you. Thanks for putting up with us on a Monday, guys. We appreciate it. It was a little bit of a manic Monday, but we're all good. We're all good. We're good. So thanks, everybody. We will see you on Wednesday. There we go. Have a great day, guys. Make it a marvelous Monday.